The Center for Quantum Computation CQC is an alliance of quantum information research groups at the University of Oxford. It was founded by Artur Eckert in 1998. Until recently, the CQC also included research groups at the University of Cambridge, but now the Cambridge groups operate as an independent entity called the Cambridge Centre for Quantum Information and Foundations CQIF. Research The CQC conducts theoretical and experimental research into quantum computing, quantum cryptography and other forms of quantum information processing, into the implications of the quantum theory of information for physics itself, and into foundational and conceptual questions in quantum theory and quantum information theory. Groups. Initially the CQC was based at the Clarendon Laboratory, but it has now grown to span several departments at the University of Oxford. Physics Atom Photon Physics, group led by Dr. Axel Kuhn. Ion Trapping, group led by Prof. Andrew Steen and Dr. David Lucas. Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, group led by Dr. Jonathan Jones. Quantum Spin Dynamics, group led by Dr. Arzung Ardavan and Dr. John Morton, group spans physics and materials. Quantum Theory, group led by Dr. Dieter Jaksha. Ultracold Quantum Matter, group led by Prof. Christopher Foote. Ultrafast Quantum Optics, group led by Prof. Ian Walmsley Materials Photonic Nanomaterials, group led by Dr. Jason Smith Quantum and Nanotechnology Theory, group led by Dr. Simon Benjamin Quantum Spin Dynamics, group led by Dr. John Morton and Dr. Arzung Ardavan group spans physics and materials. <laughs> Computer science Quantum Group, led by Prof. Samson Abramsky and Prof. Bob Koch Topic. Mathematics Mathematical Physics, group led by Prof. Artur Eckert Topic Origins The center has its origins in the early 80s when the computer industry began to worry about the limits of computing. In 1981, Oxford physicist David Deutsch attended a party in Texas given by the famous American physicist John Wheeler who had invited a number of scientists interested in the foundations of computing. It was at this party that Deutsch gained the crucial insight that would lead to an entirely new branch of physics. At the time, computer scientists were turning to Newtonian physics to try to resolve certain fundamental puzzles in the field. But during a conversation at Wheeler's party, Deutsch realized that this was the wrong approach. Physics is fundamentally governed by quantum theory, and Deutsch could see immediately that using quantum theory instead of Newtonian physics would give a different result. As a consequence of this insight, Deutsch published the paper in 1985 that is now generally regarded as a classic in the field. The paper describes how a computer might run using quantum mechanics and why such a computer is fundamentally different from ordinary computers. In 1987, Artur Eckert arrived at Oxford to work on a PhD at the Department of Physics, where he met Deutsch. Whilst working at Oxford, Eckert developed a theory of cryptography based on quantum entanglement. 
A chance meeting on the ski slopes of the Alps with John Rarity, a scientist at DARA the UK's military research organisation, led to a collaboration in which Eckert's scheme was tested experimentally in the early 90s. After finishing his PhD, Eckert gained a junior research fellowship from Merton and took on his first PhD student. With Deutsch, this created a small team that within a year had acquired the title of the Quantum Computation and Cryptography Group. A breakthrough in 1994 by Peter Shore, a researcher at the labs of the American telecommunications giant AT&T, boosted the entire field of quantum information. Shore showed that Deutsch's quantum computer could actually solve an important problem that an ordinary computer would find impossible. For the first time, it became clear that quantum computers were far from unimportant curiosities. After Shore's announcement, quantum information became increasingly popular with Oxford. In 1995, Andrew Steen began an experimental effort to study how quantum computers might be built from ionized atoms trapped by laser beams. In 1996, Jonathan Jones started a group working on a quantum computer based on the same techniques used in magnetic resonance imaging in medicine. And two years later, Dirk Baumeister arrived from Geneva to begin an experimental group working out how the quantum world could also revolutionize communication. The group changed its name to the Center from Quantum Computation. <laughs> Cambridge When Artur Eckert moved to Cambridge to become the first Lee Trapnell Professor of Quantum Physics in 2002, the Cambridge Centre for Quantum Computation was created. It continued under this name until 2010, when the existing research group was joined by Richard Joza, and the centre was renamed the Cambridge Centre for Quantum Information and Foundations CQIF, reflecting the broad range of its research activities. The Cambridge CQIF is based at the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics within the Centre for Mathematical Sciences. The Cambridge CQC's permanent faculty were Artur Eckert, Lee Trapnell Professor of Quantum Physics at Cambridge from 2002 to 2007, and Adrian Kent, currently Reader in Quantum Physics at Cambridge. The Cambridge CQIF's permanent faculty are Richard Joza, Lee Trapnell Professor from 2010, and Adrian Kent. See also Quantum information Artur Eckert Richard Joza University of Cambridge University of Oxford Centre for Quantum Technologies <laughs>